How to sell your house using a lease option. Are you trying to sell your house in a buyer's market? A lease option may be the perfect solution to ensure you get top dollar for your home. It may even generate some extra income off the sale. With a lease option, you rent your property to a potential buyer and give them an option to buy at the end of the lease term. Using a lease option lets you tap into a huge pool of people who want to buy a home but who aren't quite ready to make the purchase yet. Finding a potential buyer. Fix up your home. You'll get the largest number of offers if you fix up your home as much as possible before advertising. Correct major problems first, such as rickety stairs, broken windows, and leaks in the roof. At a minimum, the home needs to be habitable livable. This means that you must provide sufficient heat and hot water to your tenant. The home should also be sufficiently safe, by having a deadbolt lock and locks on the windows. States and municipalities create livable standards for rental property. Stop into your local housing authority or town office and ask for requirements. At a minimum, the home needs to be habitable livable. This means that you must provide sufficient heat and hot water to your tenant. The home should also be sufficiently safe, by having a deadbolt lock and locks on the windows. States and municipalities create livable standards for rental property. Stop into your local housing authority or town office and ask for requirements. Consult an attorney. Not every state allows rent to own agreements, so you should consult with a real estate attorney before putting your home on the market. You can find a real estate attorney by contacting your local or state bar association and asking for a referral. Also have the lawyer walk you through the process, even if you don't want to hire them. Of course, hiring the lawyer can make things easier on you. They can draft the lease option contract and negotiate on your behalf. They will also review required closing documents. Also have the lawyer walk you through the process, even if you don't want to hire them. Of course, hiring the lawyer can make things easier on you. They can draft the lease option contract and negotiate on your behalf. They will also review required closing documents. Advertise. Lease options are not that common. Perhaps for this reason, they typically receive an overwhelming response, so you will likely have plenty of potential buyers to choose from. You can advertise the home using the following methods. Put up a sign on the property. Make sure to mention that your home is rent to own. Also state the monthly rent if you've settled on a sum. Place ads in the local newspaper or circular. Advertise online. You can put an ad on Craigslist. Make sure that you have pictures of the inside and outside of your home to show. Create an application. You'll need to thoroughly vet any applicant. Accordingly, you should create an application that all interested buyers complete. Make sure your application requests the following, name, date of birth, social security, number, ID, number, driver's license, passport, etc., current address, previous addresses, employment history name, contact information, dates employed, gross pay at each job, bank accounts, name of the bank and current balance, credit card debt, whether the applicant has ever been late with rent, criminal history, applicant signature, authorizing a background check, name, date of birth, social security, number, it, number, driver's license, passport, etc., dot, current address, previous address, S, employment history name, contact information, dates employed, gross pay at each job, bank account, name of the bank and current balance credit card debt whether the applicant has ever been late with rent criminal history applicant signature authorizing a background check. Perform background checks. You need to look at potential buyers as potential tenants, and you don't want to do a lease option with someone you wouldn't rent to. Accordingly, you should do a background check on each applicant. As far as the applicant's credit history, you probably don't want someone with serious credit trouble, but at the same time you may want to be lenient. Many buyers who choose lease options do so because they have some blemishes on their credit and want to improve their profile before applying for a loan. Clean up your own credit. Any renter is taking a risk by entering a lease option contract. For example, you might lose your house during the rental period. In this situation, the renter loses out on the option to buy the home and will have to move. Although leaseholders with an option to purchase don't typically check a seller's credit, you may want to clean up your credit history just in case. Get a copy of your credit report and look for mistakes. Dispute any errors with the National Credit Reporting Bureaus. Pay off debts as best as you can. If you are selling your house because you're in financial trouble, you can expect buyers to be leery of entering a contract with you. Accordingly, improve your credit profile by paying down debt. Pay off all unpaid taxes and liens. Get a copy of your credit report and look for mistakes. Dispute any errors with the National Credit Reporting Bureaus. Pay off debts as best as you can. 
if you are selling your house because you're in financial trouble, you can expect buyers to be leery of entering a contract with you. Accordingly, improve your credit profile by paying down debt, pay off all unpaid taxes and liens. Pre-qualify your tenant. It's a good idea to contact a loan officer or mortgage broker to at least discuss the potential buyer's prospects for obtaining a mortgage at the end of the lease. The longer the lease term, the more uncertainty there will be. However, you'll want at least some idea whether or not your tenant can qualify for a mortgage when the option comes due. You can also ask the potential tenant to contact a mortgage broker. Have the broker send you a letter explaining whether the tenant will qualify. It's also important not to enter a lease option agreement with someone who can never possibly qualify for a mortgage. Renting to this person borders on a scam. The lease contract should include timeline checkpoints for the buyer to keep them on track and make sure they remain eligible for a mortgage at the option deadline. If they can't meet these checkpoints, they'd be in default of the contract and you'd be able to either reclaim the home or adjust the contract to give them more time.